Welcome, amazing friends, and let's discuss together how to simplify exponential problems like this. Okay, now when you see something like this, please, you are not solving. You are not asked to find the values of this unknown. You are only asked to simplify. And simplifying it means to reduce it to the lowest form. So that is what you want to do here. Meanwhile, you can pause for a while and then think on how you can simplify this. Let's know your answers in the comments. But if you don't know what to do, let me teach you. It's very simple. Remember, this is the fourth class on this concept of exponent. Do well to check on our previous tutorials. It will help you to follow through. Now let's do it together. So to answer this, we just begin from the first one. Okay, it's just very simple. What you need to do for this, let's make it more simple. So we can rewrite that to be, this is two, okay? This is two H cube, J to the power of negative three, K to the power of four over three J and K to the power of negative two. Now what you need to remember is one of the rules we have discussed which says that when you have a to the power of m over a to the power of n, the bases are the same. Just simply subtract when division appears. Division will turn to subtraction, okay? So do you think we can apply it here? Yes. Now, what do you do here? This will give us two. You'll see that j is up and down. k is up and down. So for the j and k, we can apply this. I hope you are seeing it. So this gives us 2 over 3 is the same as multiplying h raised to power 3. We are trying to split it for easy simplification, okay? So we have this is j to the power of negative 3 is divided by j. I hope you are seeing it, okay? Then we now have multiplied by k to the power of 4 over this is k to the power of negative 2. Did you see how we splitted it? So we are going to now have 2 over 3, then h to the power of 3. Now for this, remember this j has a power of 1. For any number without a power, it's said to have a power of 1, okay? So here, what do you think? We obey this. So we are going to now have j to the power of negative 3. Division will turn to subtraction, okay? Then we now have negative 1. Did you see it now? Then you have multiplied by k. This is 4. This division will turn to subtraction, but there is a negative sign already at this number. So what do you need to do? Just still bring it back. You have this. Did you see that? Okay, so this is what you have. So we're going to now have 2 over 3h to the power of 3 multiplying negative 3, negative 1 will give us negative 4. Then multiply by k raised to power. This is 4. Negative will multiply negative to give you positive. And 4 plus 2 will give you 6. So we have this. Did you see it? So this is what we have. Nothing else can simplify. You can leave it this way or you just simplify. Finally, to now have to remove this multiplication, you have 2 over 3 h cube j raised to power negative 4 k raised to power 6. You can leave it this way or you can also leave it this way. 2 for this, you have h cube. Now, this one that has a negative will come down, okay? Because when you have a raised to power negative n, it's 1 over a raised to power n. So, the number will always come down. So, this j that has a negative will come down. So, it's going to be a fraction. Are you getting it? And it will be raised to power 4. Are you seeing what we're doing? Then k will still be up because there's no negative sign. So, you see the two ways you can represent it. If it's not in this way, you can also remember there is 3 here. So you still put your 3 here. So this becomes your answer. Either this or this is correct. Now let's go to question 2. It's still very simple. What you, what you need to do, remember this is multiplication. But what we need to do is to simplify this. Just remember this rule which says a to the power of m raised to the power of n simply means you multiply the power. Okay? To give you mn did you see that so here we are going to now have it as so we can bring it down to have for number two we have 2x cube is multiplied by here we multiply this power okay so we are going to have x to the power of four times two will give us eight then divided by eight x raised to power of 12 
Did you see that? Okay, so what do you do again? Now, you can now remember your rule of exponent again, which says a to the power of m multiplying a to the power of n. We give you when it's multiplying and the bases are the same. Just take one base and then turn the multiplication to addition. Did you see that? So this is another key that you should know, okay? So if you apply it here, you see that this and this are the same base. So what do you do? We are going to have two x, and because they are multiplying, just obey this. You just add their power. So we're going to have three. This will not turn to addition. You have plus eight. Did you see that? All over, eight x to the power of 12. So we are going to have two x, if you add this, it gives you 11 over 8x to the power of 12. You now simplify. 2 here is 1. 2 here will give us 4. Now, what do you do again? This is 11. Now, let me show you another way you can do this without obeying the rule. When you have x to the power of 11, it means x will be 11. Okay? This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. It's divided by when x is 12. So if x is 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is another way you can do it if you don't want to use the rule here. So you see that when x is 11 at the numerator, it takes 11x at the denominator and you'll be left with 1x at the denominator. You see where the x is, is at the denominator. So what it means is that to simplify this, what do you do? It's going to now give us... For the numerator, there will be no x again, okay? So we are left with 1. What you have here is 4. And there is 1x at the denominator. So we have that x. And this becomes your answer. Now, for question number 3, I hope you've already gotten your answer for this. Now, remember, sharing this video helps more people who are having challenges with these skills to learn it. Ensure to help us to share and give this tutorial a thumbs up. You can subscribe for the more tips you will get from us. Now let's continue. So we're going to have it as, for number three, we have 27 a cube b to the power of five over negative nine a b cube. Now what do you do? We can have it at, just remember your rule of division, okay? So this is giving us 27 divided by negative nine, then this is a to the power of 3. Remember, here is 1. And remember we said for division, when the bases are the same, you subtract. So you have 3 minus 1. Then this is b. We are having 5 minus 3. We are done. So this gives us, this we cancel to have. So we are going to have negative 3. Okay? Then a, 3 minus this will give you 2. And 5 minus this will give you 2. So this is your answer for the last one. And I hope you learned a lot. Helping us to share, help more people who have this as a challenge to learn it. And give this tutorial a thumbs up. Subscribe for the more tips you'll get. Remember, I'll see you in our next class. Let us know how helpful this is to you in the comments. Bye-bye.